Alright guys, Eric here, California Dryfly, and I've got some awesome for you guys today. I'm going to be doing a first impression on a new bag I got. I finally upgraded to a really quality bag. Um, that bag that I got is the Mystery Ranch Beartooth 80. Um, it's in the Subalpine Sidka pattern. Now right now, I, I have it almost fully packed with what I would take for like a weekend to three days, four days maybe. Um, all I would add to this is maybe a little bit more water, a couple oddballs, um, extra solar charger, stuff like that, just some, some other stuff. Right now I'm running 29 pounds, um, minus about three pounds there. So I'm gonna be in the 32 pound range for about a three to four day hunt. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to dump some stuff out of this thing because it's heavy as heck right now to move around. Um, if you guys don't know, I, I tore up one of my shoulders, um, kind of put me out of the hunting game for a little while. Target shooting's been downhill. It's been a little tough to recover. So let's get into, let's dive right into this pack. So I do run the Jet Boil Flash. Um, I just got this. We'll talk about that in another video. Um... Right in here. So this is a, I guess they call it a 260 degree bag. Um, it doesn't fully open on the far side here. So it's got a couple of pouches. I've got this little top pouch where I typically keep my sunglass holder, uh, O-light headlight. Um, I toss in some spare matches. Um, and then we dive into the main bag which uh, this is usually my snack bag. Um, this is a Mystery Ranch Large Zoid bag. Uh, this is my old cook kit I'm running, which is now being replaced with this cook kit. If you guys have questions about my cook kit, just let me know and we'll go over that. Um, I don't always run this, but this is a Teton pillow. Um, sometimes I run a little Air One. Actually, I've got my Air One in here. Um, this is just what I'm running for water right now. Typically these are spare clothes, socks, boxers, um, an extra shirt, uh, jacket, sleeping pad, which is, this is a very heavy sleeping pad. I'm going to upgrade this next to knock off quite a bit of weight. Typically I carry two to three of these depending on how many nights I'm out. This is what I have for dinner. Um, it's either a peak or a mountain house. This is my tent. This is the Lux um, Mini Peak XL. Uh, if you have any questions about this, I've got a video up on my channel. You can check it out. That is a, uh, a stick or a... Technically, it's not a walking stick. Uh, one, and then, and then I carry my my sleeping bag, which this is gonna get upgraded eventually too. So let's dive right into this. Oh, the spare headlight. Um, so typically, I keep stuff like this spare headlight um, in these. laid out like this for you as you can see there's these two zipper pockets which uh, keep the bench made <coughs> uh, multi-tool some paracord knife sharpener spare headlight um, I've also added this which is just a little green light to help me look around in the bag if I need to carabiner you never know when you're gonna need those so you've got these two zipper pouches in here 260 degree bag um, in this zipper pouch it's the bigger of the two pouches I keep the first aid which I've got quick cloth toiletries um, I've got some gloves in here so quick access stuff I usually, I usually keep right there um, I'm gonna put the rest of the stuff back in here 
Uh, so that's her right here. Now I've got this thing on the Guide Light MT frame. Um, I should kind of stuff this thing with something light. Hmm. Well, too bad. Alright, so that's here right here. This is the, the bag. You've got your two stretch pockets on each side. Um, zippers are super high quality. They feel solid. They're kind of like a water resistant material. Um, I've got the outer straps. So you've got this extra piece. This is your top. Goes on here like, like so. Um, and in there I keep some other oddball stuff. Um, I keep a radio, solar. Um, it's got a light. We use this pretty much. This is the light I use in the tent. And like I said, a little stereo. I can charge my phone, stuff like that off if I really wanted to. I <clears throat> uh, keep my release. Um, if I'm not wearing it, I keep it up here. This is a glassing pad and battery charger, which I carry a variety of chargers um, to keep all my electronics up and going. And I'll carry my GoPro. <clears throat> so that's typically what I carry in this bag. Now this bag weighs 5.7 pounds. Um, it is 5,200 cubic inch, but I'll double check that and drop that in the comments. So far, guys, I love this pack. I've just worn it around on some just walks, just trying to get a feel for the pack, um, how I like to set it up, where I want to load stuff. So, so far, the material's good. Um, quality's really, really amazing. The weight is great. Um, I, I don't have any complaints yet. We're going to, like I said, I'm going to run this all next season uh, for all my day hunts. Most of my day hunts and all of my overnighters and weekend hunts is all going to be out of this pack. So look forward to any of those videos. Um, any more comments you guys have, please feel free to drop them down in the, in the comments section. If you have not liked this, like my videos, please like my videos, subscribe to my channel. If you guys wanna see anything else or any have any questions about any of the stuff I'm running, please feel free to drop me a comment and I will try to make a video of the setup or anything you guys would like to see on them. So thank you guys once again. This is California Dry Fly and I will see you on the water.